Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. The fact that I wasn't married. And I remember specifically talking to my mom being like, why didn't I take this seriously? Why didn't I make better decisions? And I started thinking back to all the guys I dated being like, oh, should I go back? Maybe he was one. Why did I, you know, and, and I tortured myself. I crucified myself because I said, how could you not have taken this seriously? What did you do? You let all this time pass. And now you're almost 40. And what the, what the flip? How did we get here? Because all of a sudden I was approaching 40 and my parents were like, you need to freeze your eggs. I was like, ah. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. Shout out to Mr. Rurela for this video. I hope I didn't butcher your name, brother. This is his message. Hello, sir. Hope you're doing well. I found this link on Facebook. In my opinion, she is simply trying to justify hitting the wall. Unfortunately, the wall is merciless. I think that's what you meant instead of merciless, right? Mr. Rulela, salute! Thank you for the video. For those who don't know who Dr. Jen is, let's have her introduce herself. Okay, so you all know I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a family doctor. Um, I see patients. I teach medical students and residents, but I also do a lot of on-air television work. So I go on Fox News, CNN, HLN, Dr. Oz, Rachel Ray, you name it, talking about health all the time. And I have my own series here on YouTube called the Be Your Own Doctor series. I mean, you guys know that because, well, you just know that because you're my peeps, you know, my peeps. You may not know that um, I'm also a single girl. Yes, honey. Yes. Let's, um, okay, well, that's a conversation for another day, but. <laughs> but we're going to have this conversation today. I just want to say that this is not a this video. I repeat, this is not a this video. It's intriguing because it fits well with the previous video about rich leftover women in China. So this is actually the Western version of a leftover woman. Dr. Jen is a 40 plus year old career woman who is a millionaire and can't find her husband. And in this video, she says some disturbing things that are not helpful, but she does provide great insight into how women keep women single. So before we get to that part of the video, we have to take you on a journey. Her video is pretty much a self-explanatory video. So we're gonna let her speak without interrupting much and we'll let Janice help us with some of the key points to watch out for. Let's get it. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah. We men ain't we? So this is a topic that actually for a long time was very, very sensitive for me. And uh, if if my younger self uh, would have told me that, or if, if my younger self knew that I was going to talk about not being married and being over the age of 40, I think I would have freaked out because it's often been very sensitive. You know, many of you guys ask me, um, and rightfully so, you know, are you married? Do you have children? What's your deal? Are you dating, etc.? Totally get it. Fair question, right? And I've always been transparent with you guys. Uh, I've never been married. Um, I am currently single. I am dating, or rather, you know, online dating and <laughs> doing that whole online thing, which y'all know how I feel about that, but I'm trying. Um, but no, I've never had children. And, um, you know, the topic of marriage, especially when you're over 40 and you're a woman, um, is something that can be touchy, I think, for, for many of us. It certainly has been touchy for me. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about my story and also tell you why I think this is really important for us all to talk about. Um, first of all, um, like I said, never been married, but I have been engaged. Um, I was engaged about mm, four years or so ago, very short lived. I, I ended the engagement. That was absolutely the right thing to do. And I'm happy that I did that. Never look back. Okay, so that is, you know, I was engaged once. Um, I've never had children, but I have frozen my eggs before I turned 40. Um, actually, my parents, it was my parents actually who encouraged me to freeze my eggs. And I remember being like completely offended by them saying, I was like, what you think I can't find no man? What you think I can't get no man? What you trying to say? I was so offended. I was like, what? Um, and I literally talked to some of my girlfriends telling them this story, like, you'll never believe what my parents told me to do. And they were like, oh yeah, I froze in my eggs. And I was like, what, huh? Oh, come again? Um, anyway, long story short, I've done a video on that. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the ladies in your life, take a look at that. Uh, egg freezing is really a thing. And it's an important thing for many of us. Um, and I froze my eggs twice uh, before the age of 40. I didn't get a lot of eggs the first time. And then I got more the second time. So I do have eggs 
in the freezer. Um, I pay egg rent every year, um, but I've never had children, etc. So, so I know a lot of you are probably like, well, why, why, why have you ever never been married? Um, let me first start out by just like real talk. You know, I think one of the hardest things about never having been married, being over the age of 40, etc., is I've always been afraid of what people think about that. And maybe it's not the thing you're thinking about, right? There is a lot of societal pressure to be married, to have children, especially in certain cultures, in certain parts of the world, etc. So that exists. But interestingly enough, my parents never put a lot of pressure on me to get married and, and procreate have children. In fact, sometimes I wish they put more pressure on me. Maybe I would have made it more a priority, but I don't blame this on them. Um, I've always been worried about a, the stigma that I have always felt attached to it. My younger brother is married with a beautiful wife and a, and, and a beautiful family. And my brother, I've always looked to for guidance and advice. I always say like he was like the normal one, <laughs> the one with a lot of common sense between the two of us. And I, I always used to, um, I don't know, I would talk to him about things. I was always worried about people thinking I was, there must be something wrong with me because I'm unmarried and over the age of 40. I mean, you okay, let's just be real. You see someone, you're like, why aren't they married? What's wrong with them? What, what What's their problem? There must be some, she crazy, she crazy, right? That is that not something that people wonder about or worry about? And yes sometimes and i'm not putting everybody under the bus but i'm just saying that is something i have always been worried and bashful about are people going to think there's something wrong with me and well shoot there might be i don't know but i don't want that <laughs> the other thing is um you know sometimes people have opinions well oh, you must be picky oh you must this you must that and you know those what I worried about and what I have always been sensitive to with not being married and being over the age of 40 were those things, those thoughts from other people. Why isn't she married? What's wrong with her? She must not be picking right. Well, you know, and I, I get it. I don't blame people for wondering. And I'm not saying everyone has those thoughts, but I know some might. And that has always been rough for me. All right, Janice, enlarge the main points on the screen. Let's put some emphasis on some of the key points. She froze her eggs twice, fellas. More about that later because it's part of the disturbing thing she'll say later. She was engaged. That was her husband, fellas. Now we don't know why she ended it, but also don't know why she got engaged to this man in the first place. So there are many, 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 many answers to be found during that time she was engaged. Younger self didn't know it always starts there. Like our previous video, women are trained to perform and act like men. She mentioned her parents not putting any pressure on her to get married. This is part of Western culture. Marriage and children are postponed. More about that later. Online dating for a 40 plus year old career woman who is a millionaire does not bode well. She's looking for something rare, fellas. Check this out. Oh. Yes. When, when it comes to dating, what, what, what do you mean by that? So, you know, and I love to date. I love meeting new people. But sometimes I think I've, I've focused maybe on one or two things that I've been extra excited about, qualities about the guy, and maybe not looked at the whole picture. And they weren't the right person for me, and I wasn't the right person for them. So here's how this is going to work. Five years ago, she went on the Steve Harvey show to look for her dream guy. That's your problem right there dream guy it's not a realistic person it's not a real experience look at this setting the steve harvey show is basically an offline version of online dating check this out um so i'd love to start um and i guess we'll start with you sebastian um what are three things that you'd like to have in common with your partner uh it doesn't matter what you like to have in common with your partner it doesn't matter what he says guys because that's not how the dream works. That's not how the fairy tale works. You heard what she said. Sometimes I think I've, I've focused maybe on one or two things that I've been extra excited about, qualities about the guy, and maybe not looked at the whole picture. What do you think these two qualities are? When was the last time you saw a Prince Charming who was ugly or average at best? Looks are the first quality Dr. Jen and women in general look for. This is scientifically proven. Dennis, read. However, 
Apostolo and Philip who found that generally, for both genders, self-ratings of desirability did not directly predict marital status. However, some traits had significant indirect effects on men, the largest being good looks, where higher scores were linked with higher self-esteem, which was associated with a higher likelihood of being in a relationship or single by choice. If you're not a Chad or a Tyrone, you don't want to be in this position because women will naturally pick the best looking guy. Stay off these dating apps. It doesn't matter what Chad or Tyrone says unless he really, 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 really messes things up. And that's why I immediately knew after seeing the guys on the show which guy Dr. Jen would pick even though none of these guys are Tyrone's. She chose the best looking guy of all six that were available. And he didn't even give the best answers. Now check this out. Getting to know his story and things like that. Getting to know her was great. Uh, the one thing I just wish that she would have talked a little bit more about herself. Um, so this way I'm not rambling or ranting about myself so much. But other than that, it was really good. Great conversation. Definitely want to with her again. I just... This time we're going to date that I hear a little bit more about her instead of going to hear about myself. I've said it many, 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 many times on this channel. Most women are boring. This might be hard to grasp if you're inexperienced with women. But if you have access to women and went on many, 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 many dates with them, you'll notice that you have to be the playmaker because you're dealing with empty vessels. Check this out. I had to get, I used to like to stay in the house all the time. And I was like, Crystal, you're never going to find a man if you don't leave the house. But y'all, even that, even just getting ready, putting the makeup on, doing your hair, finding an outfit, just going to shop for an outfit because you feel like I don't have nothing to wear. And then you get out there and nobody approaches you. What am I doing? I find myself coming home. I've done spent $200 on a meal and drinks and still ain't got no action. What's going on? This is the female version of making an effort. Spending $200 on a meal for herself, by the way, $1,000 on an outfit, and then just show up and expect Prince Charming to sweep her off her feet. And they wonder, what's going on? And what are they doing wrong? The foolishness. Let's get into what these 40 plus year old women are doing wrong. So why am I not married, right? I'm gonna tell you the answer, but let me just tell you what I was doing um, and what where my mind was, because this makes, I think is, 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 is a big thing. You know, when I was young, I didn't dream about getting married and having babies. It's not that I didn't think I would do that. It's just that wasn't in my dreams. To be honest with you, I was always worried that I wouldn't be successful. Everybody, I think, has an Achilles heel. Everybody has something. And I honestly was in some, some, at some points during my education career, whether it was in music school or at Princeton or whatever, there were times when I was definitely afraid of not being successful. And when I say successful, I'm not talking about money and stuff like that. I'm talking about just making it, right? Succeeding, making it to med school, passing my boards, you know? And I did all of those things, but that was always front and center. When I was in my 20s, to be honest with you, I was just trying to make my parents proud and to do, to, to become something because I honestly was truly afraid that I wouldn't be. That was something I worried about. And you know what? I didn't take dating very seriously. I dated in med school. I dated people um, in med school. I didn't take it very seriously. In my 30s, um, I still was that way through half of my 30s. But what happened was around the time I started freezing my eggs, I actually, my latter part of my 30s, I actually started panicking about the fact that I wasn't married. And I remember specifically talking to my mom being like, why didn't I take this seriously? Why didn't I make better decisions? And I started thinking back to all the guys I dated being like, oh, should I go back? Maybe he was one. Why didn't I, you know, and I tortured myself crucified myself because I said, how could you not have taken this seriously? What did you do? You let all this time pass and now you're almost 40 and what the, what the flip? How did we get here? Because all of a sudden I was approaching 40 and my parents were like, you need to freeze your eggs. I was like, Wah! and I was really hard on myself during that time. I really, really was hard on myself. I was remorseful. I was regretful. I was embarrassed and I felt like I had wasted a lot of time. All right, Janice, enlarge the main points on the screen.
She's giving us everything we need to know. Didn't take dating seriously in her prime. At the time, she had her best chance of finding a husband instead of online dating in her 40s. The wall is undefeated. Women notice the change in men's behavior when the wall hits. You don't miss your water until the well runs dry. Subconsciously, these women think they can get the man they want whenever they want. You know what I mean? But you know what? One thing I will say, I don't have to be single and I ain't gonna die single. As long as you know you ain't gotta be single, that's power. I can, I can settle down tomorrow if I want to. I don't tomorrow. want to. Tomorrow. So Literally, it's, it's what time is it? It's 10 o'clock in two hours. Just saying. In two hours, I can I, settle I can down. Se I can accept the dude And right that's now. the sum of it. Got dudes in the DMs right I got now. problems. Why won't you be with me? All but right, somebody bro. want my problems, you hear me? That's all I'm saying. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you understand why these women lose their minds when the simp moves forward? It's the simp that's boosting their egos. That's why they don't marry the simps because Chad and Tyrone still smash. You're simping for a woman that's giving her punani away for peanuts while you are ready to give her the world just to sniff it. The foolishness. But at 40, Chad and Tyrone move differently. And it's interesting because these women never had to do anything to attract a man. They would just show up and men would shower them with attention. Women pick up on this early and that's why they take it for granted. And Dr. Jen knows it. She's been dismissing some good quality men in her prime. This is why women in their 40s use antidepressants the most. Check this out. Midlife depression in women. Dennis, read. Middle-aged women, age 40 to 55, have been found to be at higher risk for depression. Part of it stems from the natural hormonal alterations of perimenopause and menopause. However, it tends to be about more than just hormone changes. Midlife can be a time marked with greater losses, like empty nest syndrome, ailing and or deceased parents, career changes, and a loss of former friendships, marital and love partnerships. Additionally, women in midlife have reported higher rates of pain and physical ailments. This is the time women are bombarded with the truth. They are no longer invincible, but invisible and have officially joined the leftover gang. That's why what she says later is so disturbing. And then, in my 40s, which I am, um, I'm... I'm proud to say that things have gotten a little bit better for me, meaning how how much or a little rather I beat myself up. The reason why I haven't gotten married is honestly because I haven't found him yet. I, I just, and you know what? It was one day that it literally took me waking up one morning where I had blamed myself and said, well, maybe you are too picky. Well, maybe you are crazy. And maybe you didn't take this seriously. And why didn't you do this? And why weren't you this? And I can't believe you did this. And how'd you let 15 years go by without thinking about this? But you know what the bottom line that I actually came to a realization about? And there's a lesson in this. There's a reason why I'm telling you this. It's not just burying my soul, which I am, but there's a reason. I recently, by the way, in the last couple of weeks, encountered a couple of younger ways to great careers and stuff and talking to them. Um, I, I, I remember, I just felt, I remembered a lot about my younger self, how insecure I was, how, how worried I was about so many things. And one thing I have never really felt settled about is my relationship status. Yes, I'm in and out of relationships here and there, but I spend more time out of relationships than in them. And people are like, why, what's wrong? You know, I'm, I'm always worried. People are like, what's wrong with her? But you know what? I feel so much better about this. So let me, so, so the thing is though, I finally woke up one day recently in the last couple years, actually the pandemic, I think really helped me with this. And I woke up and I said, you're not married because you haven't met him. Jen, you haven't met him. You know, if I had met him, I'd be married. I don't look back. And even though I've tried to look back and say, oh, maybe it was him, maybe it was him. Did I pass him by me? I should go. There's no one in my past that I feel like I should go back to. And there's no disrespect to any of the men that I've dated. If you're watching this, I love you all. And I really do. I'm friends with most of my exes. I have no hard feelings. But the truth of the matter is, I finally had to accept what for me was a relief, which was that I haven't met him. 
And it's reminded me and retaught me that things only happen the way they're supposed to and in the time that they're supposed to. Oh, this is pure gold. You know where she is right now? She's in the bargaining stage. In her 20s and early 30s, she was in denial. She didn't take dating seriously. When she hit the wall, she became aware that supply was limited for both eligible husbands and her eggs. So she became angry with herself, frustrated. That's the anger stage. And now she's trying to negotiate herself out of the pain. Coping mechanism activated. I haven't found the one yet. It's not my fault. No disrespect to all of these men that I was in my 20s, 30s, and now my 40s. But they were not good enough. They were not the ones. Fellas, what she's saying is bullshit. How in the blue hell would she know if a man would be the one? We made a video about a woman asking God for a husband. Check this out. Like I know personally that I know that he has to be um, a believer. He has to be um, seeking after God, chasing after God. He has to love God more than he loves me. He has to be about his purpose, his vision. He has to be loving, he has to be caring, he has to be a family man. He must be financially stable. Like all these things that I have just set the bar high. And even if the one that God has for me doesn't reach that, at least I know that I've had that standard and I'm not going to entertain anyone that falls short of that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Pull up! And even if the one that God has for me doesn't reach that, at least I know that I've had that standard and I'm not going to entertain anyone that falls short of that. In other words, if God would knock on her door with the perfect husband on his arm, she would reject him because he falls short of the list that she made. You can't make this stuff up. So what's going on here? You had to make those short guys almost like God to make them desirable, right? We finally made them God, and that's when <laughs> <laughs> they chose. The reason why women are still negotiating at 40 is because many, 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 many women are still getting attention at that age. post war 40s does not mean that women no longer get attention. But the attention from the men they want, the attention they used to get, does decrease greatly. They can still, but the guys they want won't commit to them. And like the woman who's praying for her husband, women won't lower their standards. Catherine tells me that though she and her friends haven't given up hope of finding true love, they're not willing to compromise on who they are for a partner. She missed out on the one a long time ago. And I'm willing to bet it was her ex-fiance. You don't go looking for the one in your 40s. You shouldn't be dating in your 40s. Now pay attention to how women keep women single. And this is why I say, don't be afraid to be who you are. It's okay. It's okay if the, if the chips and the puzzle pieces don't line up like everyone else's. It's okay if you don't have the white picket fence and the, you know, two and a half kids and a dog and a, and a, and a Volkswagen or whatever. It's pretty cool, but it's not required. And who knows? I mean, look, I'm going to be do making videos until I can't. So I might literally be a 65 year old first time mom. <laughs> watch okay and i'm not saying that god to wish that i at 65 I have a kid i'm just saying I'm just saying don't be surprised if you see me over here pushing with a walker and a baby on my hip okay all i know is is that sometimes you just have to accept life the life that we were given and it's not bad my life is fantastic but sometimes there can be a lot of pressure with certain things in our lives don't beat yourself up or whatever it is you think you should have been or you think you should have done or you think you should have become because what was supposed to happen it, it could never have happened a different way i learned that from oprah oh my goodness this is all feel good kool-aid can you make me feel good can you make me feel good 
You're between 44 and 48 years old. Nature didn't create you to have children in your 40s. Not only are her chances of having a baby significantly small, chances are also higher that the child will not be healthy. It doesn't matter if you froze your eggs 20 years ago. Your body is still in the latter part of 40. And why in the blue hell is a man of value looking to start a family with a 40-year-old woman? Did you think about that? Because apparently these women do not take men's opinions into account when making their vlogs. Remember this? Yes, it's like very, it definitely triggered my body image issues in ways that I wasn't necessarily anticipating to be out in the world dating men who have opinions about bodies. Yeah. Um, and so I think that was, again, this this place of me coming back to myself and realizing, again, reinforcing what I know to believe to be true. And also remembering that I don't want to date anyone who really is just interested in how I look anyway. Right. And so if you're not. Absolutely. A, right, that's all. Right. You Keep that same energy with men who are not taller than you. <laughs> Short. We asked if there was anything we could add to make Stu irresistible. Maybe the only thing you could say is that the other four are murderers. Damn! Men are not allowed to have preferences, but women are the first ones to let you know what they want and what they deserve. <laughs> you can lose weight, but you cannot build height. Now look at Dr. Jen. She's not an ugly woman but she is an average looking woman. Here she is without makeup. When she introduced herself, her accomplishments did not make her more attractive to us men. The reason she is still single is because she's looking for a man beyond her reach. Ali Wong talked about it. You know, I'm very jealous and bitter. See, because when you are a woman with money, power and respect, your romantic options do not expand. <laughs> they decline. That when a man finds any ounce of mainstream success in comedy, they get to date models. Remember, women are women first. Women don't date down. This channel is full of evidence how much proof do you need? Feel good Kool-Aid. Can you make me feel good? Can you make me feel good? Pandering doesn't cut it because it sugarcoats the whole deal. Making it seem like everything is magically falling into place. And if it doesn't, it's not your fault, right? This is why women keep women single because that kind of thinking takes away the whole idea of working hard for your goals and taking personal responsibility for your actions. Hey, TikTok. You know, it's crazy because I um, joke a lot about being single and, you know, I, um, I laugh it off. But I'm 46 years old. And while I'm getting ready for surgery and everything, it dawned on me. Hold on. I'm sorry. It dawned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. I don't have a husband to Help me get ready I'm 46 years old and I still need my mama to take care of me post up I still need my sister which whether I had a husband or not they would they would be there It sucks. Being single and 46 sucks.
That's it. It just sucks. And I'm f***ing tired. And I make jokes about the f***ing buffoons that I have been encountering in, in dating. But in reality, this is this is my reality. <laughs> this is my reality. This is my reality. And this, those stories are the shit that's available. Because all the good men have gotten married in their 20s and 30s. Because they're good men. <laughs> I'm not blaming it all on men because women are fing sh they fing batch crazy too. So but um this is my reality, not anybody else's. Wow, this video is really sad to me. I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna say, Oh, she deserves it. This is exactly what she gets, it's her poor decisions. And yes, while this is true, being a woman myself. I have empathy for her because I can clearly tell that she's hurting. You can see it in her expressions. You can see it in her face. This is a woman who is getting a very harsh reality check. And it's because there is a big life event. There is something that she's going through. She's going through a surgery. And instead of her husband taking care of her, it's going to be her mom and her sister. Only when things get serious, only when catastrophe hits, that's when women's behavior will change. That's why we are not talking to women on this channel. We're using Dr. Jen as an example for you to understand what you need to protect yourself from. Dr. Jen should tell these women to learn from her experience and tell them not to F around and prioritize relationships in college because that's the best time to meet your husband. But she's not gonna do that because she's afraid she'll get canceled. That's why we get this politically correct, feel good Kool-Aid speech that will only ensure that the 50% of singles that the US already has will grow even larger. The foolishness. But yes, when I meet him, I'm going to know. When I meet him, You'll be some of the first people to know because I'll be shouting it from the rooftops. But I haven't met him yet. And I pray to God that I do meet him. But until then, I'll just keep doing my best because what else can you do, right? Disney Princess Syndrome. We made this channel for men. That's why we started this channel. Not because we hate women. It's because men's voices need to be heard and men need to be educated on the foolishness that's going on so they can protect themselves at all times. The channel is called Manosphere Highlights Daily. We highlight men's issues, female nature, and the effects of society on human behavior. We encourage you to become the best man that you can be. But if you wanna know how to do push-ups, then you have to go to the push-ups channel. If you wanna know about money, you have to go to the money channel. I've said it many, 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 many times on this channel that I took my talents overseas. I had to look for content that could help me with that. So I watched a combination of channels, push-up channels, money channels, travel channels, language channels, and manosphere channels. Everything that I had to do to become the best version of myself. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. You know why? Because we men, ain't we? We men, ain't we? <laughs> manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted!